All right, so Tesla just dropped a, uh, a refreshed Model Y, hmm. and uh, we're diving deep into all the details. Sounds good. So we got specs, even some sneak peeks to give you the full rundown on what's new, you know, yeah. from the subtle changes to the, you know, more dramatic ones. Yeah, I think it's a, it's interesting right off the bat is how Tesla is leaning into a cohesive design language across their newer models. Okay. This Model Y refresh borrows a lot from the Cybertruck. Yeah. Especially in the front. Yeah, that front end is a total revamp. It is. Remember all those rumors about the Cybertruck-inspired light bar? Well, they're true. It's there. That sweeping light bar spans the entire front, and it's got like an aggressive, futuristic vibe. Yeah, and they've redesigned the taillights, too. Um, really? They're using something called indirect reflection technology for a unique glow. Wow. It's uh, it's a first of its kind, according to Tesla. Interesting. It's a subtle detail, but it kind of speaks to their focus on pushing design boundaries. Yeah. Even in seemingly small areas. Yeah, definitely a head turner. And uh, and they're also introducing a new glacier blue paint option. Yes. Replacing the old blue with a fresh, almost like icy look. I think it's a smart move, especially with this initial launch being focused on China. Oh, okay. Where the EV market is super competitive. Yeah. A distinctive color like that really helps it stand out. Now, one exterior change that's gotten some attention, mm. and maybe not all of it's positive, oh. is the uh, license plate. Okay. They moved it below the trunk line. Interesting. Which is... Uh, a choice. Yeah, it's definitely different. It seems like it's driven by the need to accommodate that new taillight bar. I think so. So form-following function. Yeah. But it might take some getting used to. It might. Okay, let's uh, let's move past the looks and get into the tech upgrades. Okay. Because this is where things get really interesting. I agree. There's a new front bumper camera. And it's not just for parking this time. No, this camera widens the field of view for Tesla's self-driving features, which means potentially better performance for autopilot and full self-driving. Interesting. Plus, it's got a self-cleaning function using a water jet to keep the lens clear. Oh, wow. Clever solution to a common problem. I'm all for less camera wiping. It's a good feature. Yeah, it seems like these tech upgrades are putting the Model Y in a stronger position within the, you know, increasingly competitive EV market. Absolutely. These features, along with Tesla's existing tech suite, make it a tough contender for other EVs in its price range. Now, on to the interior. Tesla's clearly going for a more premium feel here. I think so. Perforated ventilated front seats are now standard, which is a huge win. Yeah. Especially for those of us who deal with, you know, actual summer weather. I think this suggests Tesla is paying attention to customer feedback. Yeah. Ventilated seats are a must-have in many markets, and their absence in the previous Model Y was a notable omission. Yeah, and backseat passengers haven't been forgotten. They get their own screen now. Right. Which is great for keeping everyone entertained. Yeah, especially on longer <laughs> trips. Right, and smart move considering families are a key demographic for the Model Y. I agree. This kind of feature adds to the overall passenger experience. For sure. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh. The blinker stock saga. Okay. Remember how Tesla ditched the stock in the Model 3 going all in on touch controls? Well, it's back. Yeah. It seems Tesla has heard the cries of drivers who prefer a physical control yeah. for such a crucial function. Seriously, who wants to fumble with a touchscreen to signal a lane change in rush hour traffic? Yeah. Bringing back the stock is a good call. Yeah, and what's interesting is how Tesla specifically acknowledged this change, stating that the blinker sock was yeah. thoughtfully refined based on valuable customer feedback. Wow. They're not just fixing what some might call a misstep. Right. They're demonstrating that they're listening to their customers and adapting accordingly. That's a good sign showing a willingness to be flexible. It is. Now, let's talk about power and range. Even though the platform itself hasn't changed, the Model Y is getting a range boost. Likely due to aerodynamic improvements, okay, which aligns with their focus on efficiency. Makes sense. The Chinese version boasts up to 719 kilometers of range. Wow. Based on the CLTC standard. Now, for those unfamiliar with CLTC, that's the Chinese testing cycle, which tends to be a bit more generous than the EPA range we typically use here. Right. But even with that in mind, converting that CLTC range to EPA suggests a potential range of over 350 miles. Yeah. Which puts it ahead of many competitors. It does. And let's not forget, the power boost, the rear-wheel drive version, is getting a notable upgrade. Yeah. Matching the Xping G6 is zero to 100 kilometer per hour time 
of 5.9 seconds. The long-range model now goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in a swift 4.3 seconds. That's quicker than a lot of sports cars out there. I uh -uh. bet we'll be seeing those Tesla versus drag race videos popping up all over the internet. I'm sure we will. Yeah. But you know, beyond the pure speed, it's that instant torque that makes electric cars so much fun to drive. That feeling of immediate acceleration is truly unique. It's definitely addictive. Yeah. Now let's talk about something that might seem like a small detail but can actually make a big difference. The suspension. Tesla mentioned some tweaks to the suspension in their announcement. Okay. What does that mean for the average driver? Well, suspension changes can significantly impact the overall driving experience. Right. They're claiming these updates will result in smoother handling, increased comfort, more responsive steering, and a quieter ride. Essentially, they're aiming to make the Model Y a more refined and enjoyable car to drive. A smoother and quieter ride sounds good to me, especially with all the road noise issues some earlier Model Y reviews mentioned. It seems like they're taking those criticisms seriously. It does seem that way. And they've also mentioned changes to the body castings, which they claim will further reduce road noise. They're clearly focused on improving the overall refinement of the vehicle. It's all about the details. Yeah. And while we're on the topic of details, can we talk about that launch edition for the Chinese market? Yeah. It sounds pretty exclusive. It certainly does. And it really highlights how important the Chinese market is for Tesla. Right. They're offering some unique features to attract early adopters, yeah. like special badging, vegan suede interiors, and even the acceleration boost feature as standard. It's a clever way to generate excitement and buzz around the new Model Y. It makes sense. The Chinese EV market is booming, and Tesla wants to secure a large share. But do you think we'll see any of those launch edition perks offered in other markets? That's a good question. Some of those features might become optional or part of special packages in other markets. Yeah. But it's also possible they'll remain exclusive to China. Right. Tesla's strategy can be unpredictable, so we'll just have to wait and see. The waiting game is always the hardest part. But hey, that's what keeps things interesting, right? Now let's shift gears a bit and talk about some less flashy but equally important aspects of this Model Y refresh. What about things like charging speed and battery technology? Any major changes there? When it comes to the underlying technology, there haven't been any groundbreaking announcements. The charging speed remains the same with a maximum of 250 kilowatts for the long range all wheel drive model. So no crazy 800 volt architecture or anything like that. Not in this refresh. It seems Tesla is sticking with their current battery technology and charging infrastructure for now. Fair enough. But 250 kilowatts is still pretty impressive. You can get a decent amount of range back in a short time, especially if you're using a Tesla supercharger. Absolutely. And Tesla's supercharger network remains a significant advantage for them. Yeah. It's extensive, reliable, and constantly expanding. Right. Which is a major factor for EV buyers who value convenient and hassle-free charging. It's definitely a game changer in the EV world. Speaking of game changers, before we wrap up, I want to touch on the overall impact of this refresh. Yeah. What do you think this means for the Model Y's position in the EV market? Well, that's uh, that's the million-dollar question and uh, one with a lot of layers. Absolutely. Yeah. We've seen Tesla pushing the boundaries, you know, the, the design and technology, adding those luxury touches, ensuring top-notch range and performance. But how does all this fit into the bigger picture of the EV landscape? Well, for one thing, it shows Tesla is serious about uh, maintaining its lid in the EV market, uh. with new competitors emerging all the time and legacy automakers finally stepping up their EV game. The pressure is on. Yeah, it's not just the Tesla show anymore. We're seeing some impressive EVs from other manufacturers. Right. Which forces Tesla to keep innovating and offering something truly unique. This Model Y refresh seems to be a direct response to that pressure. Yeah, it's like they're saying, we're not slowing down. We're going to keep refining and improving the Model Y to stay ahead of the curve. And what's really interesting is how they're highlighting the importance of meeting customer expectations. They've shown a willingness to listen to feedback and make adjustments, even if it means reversing course on certain design decisions. Yeah, the return of the blinker stock is a prime example. Right. They recognized that people weren't thrilled with the touch-only controls and brought back the physical stock. Good move. It shows flexibility and responsiveness, which are essential in today's dynamic market. So in a way, this Model Y refresh is a reflection of the times. EVs are becoming more mainstream. Customer expectations are rising, and the competition is fierce. It creates an environment that demands constant evolution and innovation. Yeah, I completely agree. And I think it's a positive development for the EV industry as a whole. This pressure to innovate, to improve, to offer more value ultimately benefits the consumer. We're going to see better, more advanced, and more affordable EVs hitting the market as a result. That's exciting to think about. 
more options, better technology, and hopefully a faster transition to a more sustainable future. But getting back to the Model Y specifically, if you had to sum up the impact of this refresh in one sentence, what would it be? I'd say this Model Y refresh is a clear signal that Tesla is not just playing defense. They're actively shaping the future of the EV market, pushing boundaries, and setting a new standard for what consumers can expect. Well said. And for our listeners, we want to leave you with this final thought. This Model Y refresh is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. The EV revolution is still unfolding and things are changing rapidly. Stay curious, keep exploring, and don't be afraid to ask questions. The future of transportation is being written right now, and it's an exciting time to be a part of it. I agree. That's it for our deep dive into the Tesla Model Y refresh. We hope you enjoyed the journey. And if you would like to stay up to date with the latest in the EV world, make sure to subscribe. Okay. Until next time, stay charged up.